Whoa. What is this place? I can grab some of this court and use it for my house. Some of this quartz. And, ooh, what's this button do? Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no. What I do? No! Hey, guys, it's me, the Gaming Pipe, and happy early Thanksgiving. Um, I am recording this on the day before Thanksgiving, so there might be some background cooking noises, and, um, yeah. Hey, buddy. Um, but yeah, there might be some background cooking noises in the background, so don't mind that. And, um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make, um, a self can Go away. Go away. Um, I'm going to be teaching how to make a self cannon. Now, basically how this works is it uses TNT and dispensers to, uh, that drop into water that when they explode. They don't explode anything, but they launch you into the air, and it's really fun. So, um... This is all the stuff required. A block and slab of your choice. A dispenser. A button. A lever. Redstone. A redstone repeater. Glowstone. And a bucket of water. Um, a droppable... Well, like... About... Um, let's just take 64 droppable items of your choice besides TNT. And, um... 16 stacks of 64 TNT, I believe. Yes, that is... One, two... Three, four, five, six. Yes, that's right. So 64, 16 stacks of 64 TNT. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is dig a two block wide trench. And then on either side, well, not two block. I get, it doesn't, it depends on what angle you're at. But um, on either side, destroy a block and place the slab there. And then away from the slab, that way, two two blocks and then two blocks there and two blocks there so you get this like little cross thing and if you want to you can just fill that in with the block you're using I'm using quartz just so it looks better so um yeah and then the next thing you're going to want to do is not to fill it in with quartz if you don't want to just yet but the next thing you're going to want to do is to take the water bucket you have in your hand. And at the end right there, dump it so it goes towards the slab. Right there, and we're going to make that quartz. And so this is what it looks like so far, and it looks pretty good. So the next thing you want to do is, when you look up where the water is flowing from on that block, you're going to place down a block. Place down a... Actually... Yes, you're going to place down a block, place down a block, place down a block, so there should be a block like that. And now you're going to put dispensers, so four dispensers on top of each other, so one, two, three, four. So, one, two, three, four dispensers on top of each other, and we do that on all sides. Three, four, one, one, two, three, four. Make sure they're all oriented towards that way. And one, two, three, three, four. Oh, I counted wrong. And so it should look like that. And now you're going to want to, on the edges right there, you're going to take some blocks and just fill it up like that. And this assures that the TNT will fall straight in the water. You're going to want to do that on each one of these outer blocks. So it kind of makes like a circle-ish design, so it's pretty cool. And this isn't the most compact way to make a cannon like this, but it works. Alright, so now what you're going to want to do is find a good spot where you're going to want to put your button. And where do you want to put your button? Like, it has to be on, like, on one of these blocks. We'll put it there for now. But make it a lever for the moment. And... Um, take some redstone leading out for now. And what you're actually going to want to do is link all these up so that they all fire at the same time. And so they don't have just like one of them fire, or none of them fire. And now how you link up all these things to fire at the same time on each column is it's called, a, I don't know what it's called exactly. Quiet music. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's, I call it a glowstone tower. How it works is, 
basically, I did that backwards, um, a block down right there of glowstone, and then a block beside it, and a block up like that. Destroy the middle one, two blocks up on each side, like that. And, um, and what it actually does is redstone has, has a current that actually travels through the entire thing. So it actually carries the current up through it and it hits all the dispensers at the same time. So you're going to want to link where the lever is up and we're going to want to turn that on for now and um, there we go. So nothing came out because we didn't load it yet with um, TNT or an item, but it should look like that. So. Um, don't put a lever on each side, but just do the same glowstone tower thing on each dispenser. Alright, so I've put all the redstone towers on these cannons. And um, now what we want to do is um, find where the switch is and link that up to that. And we want to pull these around like that. So. What we're going to want to do is, from that glowstone, go up to the level of the next glowstone and build towards it like that. And also, then you're going to want to go one, two, and then, a, and then we put a repeater right here that will repeat the signal. And then we just... Um, keep going and we just link these up like that and then basically the repeater because it won't travel since it already goes up that way it won't go through that like that so we attach them so it still carries on the signal to the next one and um, I'll just do all that really quick alright so I've linked all of this up so it should look something like this and um Oh, and by the way, you don't want to, where the switch is coming from, it's going to be next to a dispenser. That dispenser, you don't want to um, put the repeater wraparound thing. So, so you don't have to. Um, I don't know if it won't work if you don't, if you do it or not. But, so first of all, time set day so we can see what we're doing. Now we're going to want to flip on the lever. And, um... As you can see, all the redstone is powered, and that's when all the TNT would come out. But just to make sure, um, we're going to make sure no re no redstone stays on, because it's happened to me in the past where um, some of the redstone stays on due to some of the repeaters. But now, we're going to use your item you chose to drop and put one in each dispenser. So like that I'll just go fill all of these up really quickly I know I put two in there so yeah I'll just fill all these up really quickly and I'll be right back alright so I filled all these dispensers up with one item each and so what we plan to do is there is four times four well, sorry four 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 um so that is sixteen items so that means we should when we pull this lever we should get um, back to a full stack of 64 of these. Otherwise, we are doing something wrong. So, pull the lever. And it worked. So that means all the TNT will come out at the same time. And, um, if it doesn't come out at the t same time, it'll blow each other around. And, um, that won't be a good thing. Because when it blows each other around, it can knock it out of the water. And that won't be good. So, now you're going to want to replace this with a button. And fill all these up with a stack of 64 TNT in each. So I'll just do that really quick. Alright, so I filled all of these up with TNT. And now comes the final moment of testing this thing. And see how high it shoots us. Sometimes it doesn't shoot you as high. Sometimes it shoots you pretty high. So um, let's fire it off. Alright, so the TNT comes down. <laughs> Whee! above the clouds and if you're on survival mode you have to get in the water otherwise you die so success
and um, it has a lot of TNT in it, so you probably won't need to load it with more TNT a whole lot. So that's always good. And um, that's the end of this video on me teaching you how to make a self redstone cannon. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna call it, um, but self redstone cannon has to work for now. So hope you enjoyed my invention. If you liked it, like, subscribe, comment. They're all appreciated very much. And um, I'll see you guys next time.